Hi, my name is Kristen Severson, and today I'll be introducing our work on personalized input-output hidden Markov models for disease progression modeling. Our work is motivated by some of the particular challenges in healthcare data sets. We're specifically interested in algorithms that can address small data sets, confounding due to medication effects, and goals of discovering a small set of disease states and personalized predictions. Uh, we'll motivate this problem using an example from Parkinson's disease. Here I'm showing a group of patients and their progression as measured by the Movement Disorder Society Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale. And there are a few things I'd like to draw your attention to. First, this particular study has a rather stringent inclusion criteria of patients being in within two years of diagnosis. However, even given this criteria, we see a wide variety of scores at the outset of the study. Furthermore, if we look at two patients who initially present rather similarly, we see that over time, their disease trajectories diverge. Additionally, this particular rating scale is uh, the sum of three different subparts. And we know that Parkinson's disease is a heterogeneous disease, both in terms of symptoms and trajectory. And using only these simple summary scores can mask underlying patterns. Lastly, all of this data is confounded by dopaminergic medication use. In Parkinson's disease, dopaminergic medications can be used to alleviate symptoms, but aren't generally thought to be disease modifying. Given this setting, we've proposed personalized input-output hidden Markov models as an important tool for disease progression modeling. Our technique builds on a classic hidden Markov model, uh, which models disease as a set of a small number of states, uh, which manifest in terms of clinical observations. We layer in a modeling for medications, as well as incorporating personalized effects, which model a particular patient's deviation in terms of um, the standard states, as well as the impact of medication. We apply this framework to two applications in Parkinson's disease, the first of which is a freezing of gait problem, uh, which has uh, known ground truth values. And the second is an unsupervised discovery of disease states. I'd be happy to talk about either of these applications or our algorithm in more detail if you stop by our poster. Thank you.